down. I'm not shaking anything. Hey everyone, welcome. We are back and I have two boxes today, but I'm only allowed to pick one and I really don't know what one to pick. What one should I do? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't remember that from elementary school. All right, I'll just go with this one. There you go. All right, so this is kind of heavy. Feels like there's something substantial. I'm not gonna guess. Let's just open up the card. Ooh. Desert Rose. Desert Rose. I am guessing that this is gonna be kind of like a muted color. Maybe the crystal will look like a rose, like a flowering shape. It'll probably be like maybe a dusty rose color. Forget what I have to say. Let's jump on in and see what's in here. Oh, wow, that is really pretty. That's really pretty. I bet you're wanting me to pull it out. Man, that is purchase. That really does look like a rose. That is absolutely spectacular. I was right. Kind of like a dusty color, muted. It looks like there's like dust or something on it. I don't know what is on this. Anyways, it does look like a rose. Like right there, you can see it looks like there's petals. It's really cool here on the side. It just, it, it looks like a flower and both sides do too. That one, not as much. I think desert rose is the absolute perfect name for this material. Kind of curious to see exactly what this is made out of. It looks just like solid rock. I know there's something more interesting here. Hmm. I guess we will just have to ask someone. Who would be a good person to ask? I would say a geologist. Someone who would be fun to have on the show. Why don't we ask Elizabeth? She's a geologist. She's been here with us before and we can ask her all about a desert rose. I have to open up the second one. Yep. So this box is a little bit lighter and the cards Desert Rose. I suspect it's gonna look like this, but I have a funny feeling that it's gonna trip me up again. I was so right. Now I have to figure out how to pick this thing up. It's really like spiky. I really wanna make sure I don't break anything. Oh. I could see some things that could be flowery-esque looking, but it's just super delicate. It kind of reminds me of like gypsum or something. I think I've seen that before. Some of this is like translucent. Some parts look opaque. This is really cool. All right, so let's get Elizabeth in here to tell us all about the two desert roses. Okay, Elizabeth, get, get on over here and tell us what's going on. I have two desert roses in front of me. Well, if you look at this one, and then you actually look at this plate. So this is actually a plate of desert roses. Right. If you come here and you kind of flip it around and you start really looking at it closely, if you look at them individually, yeah, actually right. begin to look like the same roses. That's true. Here, what you've got is you've got a concretion. Concretion is where you have a bunch of minerals or rocks, really pretty much anything in the ground, that come together and they stick together and they concrete. These are like a bunch of these stuck together? Pretty much. This one looks like concrete though. It doesn't look nearly as delicate as this. The difference between these two, you can actually have a couple different minerals create desert roses. Yes. I, I recognize that. What about this guy? This is actually barite. Never was so this is a very similar mineral where gypsum is actually calcium sulfate with some water. This is barium sulfate. Two totally different minerals. Not really. Not very different. similar. Similar, but the difference is what makes it look like this versus that. Desert roses form in deserts or very humid environments or very dry environments. What it is, is it's called an evaporite. You have salt flats or other places where you can have water below ground that changes depth occasionally. Tell me one crazy fact about desert rose. That you're actually seeing sand in the crystals. So that's actually trapped sand. Wow, you so know that's what, what the color right. is I can see it. Depending on where you are in the world, some of them can actually be more white colored. Some, are, some can be this tan, yeah. you can get the red. red. Okay. So it's all about the impurities. Like any gemstone, it's all about a recipe. Some impurities in the recipe are gonna be different, and then you get a different flavor of cookie or a different color of gemstone. We're like baking masters and geologists, geo gemologists. We're like a big, like, like we know, like we know about gemology, <laughs> but like we understand the recipe, so we're probably like, you know, masters with baking. I bet you would be very good at baking. I'm actually a terrible cook. Really? We talked about crystal structures in a few other videos. Tell us about the crystal structures with both of these. So your barides are orthorhombic, mm -hmm. and then your selenite is monoclinic. Monoclinic? The atoms are stacked differently. They're stacked a little bit differently. Elizabeth, thank you so much for coming on this episode today with us. Will you please accept this rose? 
Take a closer look at the petals, or what looks like petals. One of the most interesting things I have seen in a while was this guy. here today I learned all about the crystal structures for these two desert roses and they're actually different that was pretty cool and hey you know the drill like subscribe comment you do not want to miss out on our future gemstone fun